hey everybody welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back today's video is a video that i have literally struggled to put up on this channel like this video has tested me and tried me today's video is going to be a 2021 side hustles i already have a part one which i'm going to link somewhere up you guys should check it out if you haven't seen part one make sure you check it out and today's video is going to be a part two of side hustles you can start in 2021 it's not too late it's not too late i feel like if you start the year saying oh i want to have a side hustle blah 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 it's not too late you can even start at the middle of the year one thing i made sure to take note of in this video was to make them nigerian or african flip friendly i see quite a number of videos for side hustles but then when i watch those videos i'll say like eight out of ten of those options can't really be applicable in nigeria because maybe we've not just reached that level of um development or something like that so we can't really like make those things our side hustles so yeah i'm making sure to make this video nigeria friendly africa friendly and yeah these are things that we can actually do in africa i feel like if there's one thing 2021 taught us is that nothing is certain nothing is certain and you owe it to yourself to have an extra source of income nothing is sure guys you can have a short job today and next thing tomorrow is gone and it's taken away from you like i said in my previous video having a side hustle doesn't hurt anybody you don't even have to be running it by yourself one thing you should always remember is that whatever you are good at there's always somebody that doesn't know how to do it or somebody that is willing to pay for it because they don't have time to do it or they, they just have the money to pay somebody to do it or they just don't want to do it i'm just going to cut off this long intro and let's get right into this video So the first side hustle that I'm going to be talking about today is Uber, Bolt, or whatever. So that's basically like taxi services. I feel like calling it taxi will make people feel like, ah, taxi, no, I'm not sure. But then, yeah, let's call it Uber, Bolt, whatever it is. If you have a car, if you have a car and you have some spare time in your hand and or you don't go to work every day, I feel like this is one job that you can hop on, especially when you're familiar with corners of the city you're living in you can become an uber or a bolt driver i i feel like it's i think it is easy to sign up or register for that i don't have information about that but what what even made me think about this side hustle was this uber i entered and it was a lady that was driving it and then i don't know somehow somehow something one thing led to another and we started talking about how she got to that position and then she was telling me that oh she has been looking for jobs for a very long time and she couldn't get a job and then um, there was a car in the house that was just for like her and her siblings it was her parents cars but then like her mom and her dad like had their own separate cars so that car was basically like just for them and her siblings didn't um, her siblings later on like bought their own car so it was just for her and all she used to do was go to her friend's house and go to places she had to go to so she just thought oh she could become a bolt driver because it was bolt and yeah she told me that she has been making her money i don't know how much she can make from that but then i'll just give an estimate and um, one trip can cost 3k 5k 1k 1.5 2k and even less than that but then if you have multiple trips during the day i don't know if there's a limit or anything but then if you have multiple trips during the day i feel like you can make as high as even 20 30k in a day yeah so imagine that imagine that being your side hustle not even your main hustle sounds like a good one to me though the second side hustle we're going to be talking about is reselling stuff reselling thrifted stuff i feel like there are some people that just have eyes for good things in the market but what i'm trying to say is like people that when they go to like you can go to that same market with them and buy stuff and it will be fine but when they go to the market the stuff that you they will pick you literally have to ask like did you actually get this stuff from there so if you if you feel like you're somebody like that or you're somebody that has like maybe good fashion sense or something or you have you just know good things you can go to whatever market it is that you're good with and buy stuff if it's shoes if it's bags if it's clothes tops jeans whatever you can buy them and of course like just wash iron take nice pictures of them on the internet but just make sure to um, tag that they are thrifted maybe you can call your store assuming it's my store i'll call it 
thrift with Kyola or Kyola thrifted wares or whatever. Yeah, so that is another good side hustle. If you want to sell a shoe, what if somebody's a size 37 and you only have size 40? What would you say? Like, what would you, what would your explanation be? So yeah, I feel like it's just important to like state out that it is thrifted and just add your own on top packaging is everything if you can get a very good packaging that way you can even up your price so yeah the next side hustle is to start a youtube channel i feel like today a youtube channel is like a lot of people's main hustle but then you can't lie that some people it's not their dream to be a youtuber like my dream but yeah youtube pays good money especially when you're consistent and you're putting out good content youtube pays good money so i feel like this can be a good side hustle starting a youtube channel it's a good side hustle and you can even make money from also promotions i mentioned this in my last video but i don't think i went in depth like there are different ways you can make money from youtube like i said in my last last video youtube alone can create as much as five side hustles you can do affiliate marketing there's adsense there's promotion for brands there's managing for brands there is having your own merch yeah i've listed five so yeah youtube itself can also and provide like different sources of income for you so i feel like if i ever do a part three of start um, of side hustles i'll still mention youtube guys so yeah youtube is a good side hustle you can just share whatever it is you enjoy doing or if you think your life is interesting start a youtube channel and vlog about it yeah um if you've gotten to this point of the video please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel because it helps a lot with the algorithm and also share it with a friend that you think might like this video so let's go to the next point the next side hustle you can start is starting a dispatch company if you have the money um, I feel like this is something that be a good investment. So investing is starting like a dispatch company. I've seen people make good money from this. This also leads to the fact that everybody ha wants to have a business now. If you notice, I feel like in everybody's bio now, there's a business tag, business page, at something, something. <laughs> now that everybody has like an online business, I feel like we need people to like transport the stuff that people are buying for you online. So this is where the dispatchers come in. Need them to help you transport your stuff. And to be honest, I feel like they can never be enough dispatch companies because i personally use like two dispatch companies and there are sometimes that i'll call this one and they'll say oh they don't have any riders available they're all busy and i'll call the other one and they'll say the same thing so yeah if you have i feel like i think bikes cost anywhere from 120k to 250k i know because like i've done my research because this is something that hopefully maybe i don't know one day i'll want to invest in tell your friends advertise it aggressively and to be honest i feel like you can never go you can never go a day without getting a customer so you just get somebody that knows like all the corners of your city very well and hire them pay them and yeah you cash out from having a dispatch company and before you know it your dispatch company will become something big before you know it you bought bus before you know it you bought airplane like DHL <laughs> yeah so you just never know how far it can take you so yeah never know maybe your side hustle one day will become your main hustle you never know so the next um, side hustle is to become a personal shopper yeah so it doesn't have to be like an international personal shopper you can be a local personal shopper so there are some people that are too busy or are too busy going to work and they can't go to the market or they walk basically from mondays to fridays and you know on saturdays markets are full some people just honestly don't like the feel of the market and there are some stuff i feel like it's not everything you can get in supermarkets and of course markets are cheaper you can be that person if you don't have a problem going to the markets you can enter the market for somebody and buy stuff for them and i know i, I think i know of an instagram page i think it's market girl or something like that i know that she basically goes to the market for people and buy stuff for them and i think there's an online platform like that so you can literally order for plantain and all of that so you can be that person or if you're somebody that schools abroad maybe you school in another country so there are people that want stuff from that country you could become their personal shopper and help them buy and then send it down to nigeria and somehow you make your own commission from doing that next side hustle is become is to become an app or a website developer if you have knowledge about this tech thing and all of that i feel like you don't just have to apply it when it comes to school 
or you don't have to wait until you start working because I've seen very smart people that have not even gone halfway with school and they are good with all these things so you can start doing this and people make good money from this I remember when I was trying to um, create my website for my brand I'm, I'm good with it but I'm not so good with it so I was like okay you know what you can just pay somebody to do this for you and when I was asking these people they were giving me prizes like a hundred thousand more than fifty thousand somebody told me 350 so that just to tell you how much money you can make from doing these things so and long story short at the end of the day I made it myself I used my own knowledge to make it even graphic design so you can become a graphic designer even if you're not a professional graphic designer guys you can use Canva I feel like Canva is the easiest app but then you can be using Canva and there are people that don't even know about Canva Canva might be basic to you but some people don't know about it so you can be creating flyers and all of that because I feel like there's always somebody that has a class makeup class hair class this class that class so you could be that person too help them because some people don't just know how to do it or they don't just want to do it so the next um, side hustle is to become a social media manager a lot of people that have businesses now or a lot of brands or a lot of companies need somebody to manage their social media and if you're good with this whole social media thing you know how the algorithm works you know how to get people to buy stuff from you and all of that or you know how to get people to engage there are people that just don't have time and are willing to, willing to pay somebody to do all the whole posting thing you can arrange with them okay in a week i make five posts and two videos this that that and i feel like with becoming a social media manager you have to at least have knowledge on all these apps like canva and all the others so yeah the next side hustle is to become an online coach or an online tutor if you're good at anything trust me there's always somebody that is willing to learn how you do what you do okay as you mean you're good at makeup now and you get compliments of how good your makeup is you could decide to have a 24 hours or um three days makeup master class and trust me there are people that are willing to pay for you to teach them how you do your makeup you can decide to do oh a class on how to braid hair a class on how to install front house or closures a class on how to get more clients get more customers to buy your stuff anything you're good at trust me there's always somebody that is willing to pay for you to teach them how to do it so all you need to do is just like show them like evidence of what you've done show them how good you are at what you do and yeah there's always somebody that's going to be willing to pay for that the next side hustle is something that I don't think I've ever seen anybody doing this but then like to tell you how much my how far my mind goes because like this year I've just been thinking of businesses that I want to invest in and of course my mind has been open to so many different businesses some I will try out of course some I won't try out but then I'm just trying to tell you how my mind went far to this having a laundry service or laundry cleaning laundry whatever business and from my research washing machines cost anywhere from 40k to 80k you can even get some higher than that but you can literally buy like two washing machines or you buy a washer and a dryer and start a laundry service business yeah you can decide that okay I have two washing machines because trust me there are some people that don't have washing machines in their house and washing with their hands is just not their thing like me there's some people that just don't like to wash with their hands and they would rather have a washing machine to wash their stuff but then they don't have a washing machine you can charge them per kg i don't know how it works i don't know how it works i know that there are these places that you go to like wash your clothes i don't really know how it works there because i've never like taken my clothes to wash in any of those kind of places i don't know how it works how they charge you if it's per hour or per 30 minutes or per spin <laughs> i don't know how it works but then you can just find a way that works for you and then you charge people to wash their clothes for them of course you wash with your hand or if you don't have time to be there you could get somebody to supervise and if you don't trust people you put a camera maybe so that they'll count the number of people that come there to wash if you don't trust people yes yeah, so. or even it can be something online you can even open a page and say oh for your laundry services just call us we'll come and pick up your clothes 
wash it for you and maybe iron it if you have the time and send it back to you and it's going to cost so 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 per item so honestly just how far your mind is willing to go just try to be innovative and this leads me to my next point which is cleaning services if you're somebody that doesn't mind cleaning or cleaning just doesn't bother you like you don't mind cleaning you enjoy cleaning cleans your hobby I think cleaning is her hobby guys yeah so if you're somebody like that like you could volunteer to clean people's houses for them there are people that cleaning is therapeutic to them so yeah you could charge somebody oh for me to clean your house today it's going to cost you 5k and you give me the keys, keys to your house and I clean your house for you and I leave but if you're very good with like organization and cleaning and doing all of that and you don't mind you can just tell them oh if you have dishes it's additional 2k if you have if you want me to wash your toilet it's additional 20k because washing somebody's toilet <laughs> yeah so last and final side hustle is going to be getting admissions for people so if you're somebody that schools abroad or somebody that has schooled abroad before and maybe you have knowledge on how to get admissions for people you could help people that want to study in whatever country it is that you studied or you study or you have knowledge on you can help people to get admission and even become an agent for them and then you have your own service charge like agents fee what they pay you once you get the admission and help them and I know of some schools like my school personally and most schools in China like once you get a student I think they pay you 10% of that person's school fees so for example now if that person's school fees is 1 million naira once you've successfully gotten a student to come to the school and the student pays you 1 million and pays them 1 million naira this is just an example and um, they would now give you 100,000 naira from that so that's like you get 100,000 apart from the agent fee they pay you and maybe all the small small commissions you added on all the fees that they were paying so yeah that's another side hustle it doesn't matter where you school if you know that there's somebody, there's somebody that's trying to get admission you could even start that service and help people get admission to study abroad so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys enjoyed it hopefully another time we'll have a part three if you watched my part one and my part two and you haven't found any side hustle suitable for you then i don't know maybe you should wait for my part three i don't know if we're going to be doing that this year but then it just depends so and the next business related video i'm going to be doing most likely is going to be mistakes i made when i started my business so yeah please make sure you share this video with a friend a friend that you know maybe has been saying oh i want to start something i don't know what to start yes share this video with that friend or with a friend and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video Thank you.